Local authorities in New Jersey have spent $42 million in taxpayers' money to settle allegations of crimes committed by police, including murder, abuse, sexual misconduct, according to an explosive new report. Abuse of power by police, this is New Jersey now, left at least 19 people dead, 131 injured, and seven documented sexual assaults, plus dozens of other offenses from false arrest to harassment, according to a two-year investigation by the USA Today Network. Among some of the reports reporters' findings were, of the 531 officers named in lawsuits alleging abuses, at least 231 remained on the job after their employers settled with the accusers. That's a problem. They gotta fire these bastards. If I cost my employer money, I'd be out of a job. Some 68 police officers facing discipline were paid more than 700000 in tax money to quietly resign. Imagine that. At least three found new jobs in law enforcement. 113 police departments have no written policies mandating random drug testing. They should be tested all the time. I mean, I know uh, people over at transportation departments at schools, they get random testing every once in a while. I know somebody lost his job because of that. Now, he's not out there enforcing laws. Of... Uh, 243 cases examined from 2010 to 2017. The average settlement payout was $178,000. That's just an average. Most towns feel no incentive to change police behavior as the court settlements are paid for by funds from dozens of municipalities pooled in a joint insurance fund. The payouts are not announced to the public and the final amounts are usually hidden in non-disclosure agreements. The lawsuits are often settled before they make it to court. See, this is how the nepotists, the politicians, cover things up. This is where the corruption lies, okay? They, they, they take our money and they settle their little screw-ups and they don't tell us. They got these non-disclosure where the, uh, the victim can't talk about it, the town can't talk about it, nobody wants to talk about it. This is how they hide it. This is why there's a problem. And this is why blue gooers out there keep saying, oh, they're good cops, you're just bad mouth them. No, these are the facts. But the facts don't want to get out because they, they, they keep it hidden. They don't want us. They, the nepotists, the people in charge of the police department, the politicians, they don't want us to know the truth. They, they just want to blow smoke up our ass with a cop again of crap, and we're all supposed to sit there and go, oh, okay, <laughs> what a good job you're doing. And then people like me who go out there and say, no, nah, this is bullshit, this is cop again, and this is why it's cop again. I'm the one that gets labeled a bad guy. Well, you know, someday you're going to get the truth that I'm not the bad guy. I'm the purveyor of truth. Uh, USA Today reviewed more than 30,000 pages of police documents, court filing, and settlements from 565 New Jersey municipalities. In one instance, a 32-year-old Camden County police detective fathered a child. Oh, my goodness. Fathered a child with 15-year-old he had sex with on multiple occasions between 2016 and 2017. Rafael Martinez Jr. was eventually charged with second-degree sexual assault, third-degree child endangerment prior to his arrest. He admitted he was the father of the child and signed the birth certificate. You know, this is one of the things that these cops like to do. Besides drinking and driving, they like to drink and get drunk. They're, they're, they're perverts. You know, the bad one. I'm not about the good one. I'm talking about the, the bad ones. You know, they're perverts. They're you got this creepy Conte over in Hal Township that's alleged to uh, try to be hooking up with a 15 you know, for the purpose of having sex, and he had condoms in his pocket. He said, why he's not fired, I don't know, but he's still uh, sitting at home, waiting his time out so he can retire, resign, or retire before he gets sentenced. But, they, you know, they're perverts. They, they got sexual problems. They got domestic. They got a higher rate of domestic violence, so they like to beat their wives up. Oh, Goodness. In another incident that ended up costing taxpayers, Bayonne resident Jason Reyes said he was wrongfully arrested. Reyes called the police to say his car was on fire on August 29, 2010. By the end of the night, he had been pepper sprayed, handcuffed, and beaten by three police officers, according to court records. This is why you almost don't want to call the police, because I've said this in another video. Every time a cop shows up, somebody gets hurt. 
In the lawsuit, Rios claimed that Sergeant Franco Amato watched as Officers Jay Mahoney, Joseph Sharsinski, and Roma Popolski took Rios to the ground and savagely assaulted him while handcuffed. Well, they like to do this. This is, you know, one of the reasons that many of them become cops, that they love physical contact with other men. I don't know if it's a gay thing or what, but, you know, they love to get down on the ground with another guy. This is this is one thing, you know, I know about big guys. I say this all the time. I have a lot of experience with big guys. I know what they're into. They like that physical contact. And let's see. Onlookers videotaped the incident. The city sell for $280,000 with no admission of wrongdoing by police. The three officers continue to work at the police department, though Mahoney retired in 2013. See? This comes back to where they got to have a uh, personal stake in it. And these cops have no personal stake. So they got to have this their own liability insurance. This would have costed them money. The team found the allegation of police misconduct was often exacerbated when the case, when case after case showed police investigators failed to interview. Well, they're not going to do anything to promote it, especially if it's within their department. There are more than 33,000 officers in New Jersey, which doesn't officially license police officers or have a method of banning them, that's for sure, unlike most U.S. states. At least 64,000 internal affairs complaints filed since 2011, just 226 less than half of 1% resulted in an officer being charged with a crime, and only 9 of those results. That's because the blue line of bullshit protects each other, and... and you know, again, they pee on our leg and they tell us that it's raining out, okay? And this is just another story that confirms what's going on, confirms everything that I keep saying all the time, that it's all bullshit. You can file internal complaints till the, till the cows come home and nothing's going to happen. I filed an internal complaint against that Sergeant Flavel for unlawfully searching me. See, right, right there in the video, searching for ID. I didn't commit any crime. But yet I was I was searched, didn't have any ID on me. I filed a complaint. You know what happened? Woodbridge police kicked it back. Middlesex County Police kicked it back. I mean the prosecutor's office, they kicked it back. Nothing they didn't find any wrongdoing. I mean one of them gotta be a law degree, have a law degree to understand what that cop did was wrong. He unlawfully searched me, he didn't have probable cause, I wasn't under arrest and to his own admission, I didn't do anything wrong. They just wanna know who I was. But this is the crap that goes on. These police departments here in New Jersey are corrupt. They're corrupt with nepotism. They're, they're in bed with the politicians. And it's all bullshit. And they keep it so that you can't get any information on these. They sell these lawsuits with non-disclosure agreements. And so neither party can talk about it. And then the other problem is when you get a cop that's disciplined, you can't get a copy of that disciplinary uh, report. So I make, I'll make give you an example. You, uh, me and uh, police state in New Jersey filed a complaint against that Sergeant Shari down in Manchester Police. The, uh, the, the, the chief of police down there, she did the right thing. I'm not faulting her. And she got back to and said that that officer was reprimanded. But we never got a copy of what the reprimand was, what the investigation found, because they keep it quiet and it's not subject to open requests. So how do we know? This is how they cover it up. The system is designed to cover everything that they do up and keep it from us. So that way, these naive little lily wipes out there run around and say, Oh, the police got our job. Oh, they're there to help us and protect us. You just hate police. You're just putting all the bad ones up there. Well, you know, there's a lot of bad stories out there. There's no shortage of them. And this is what promotes all this bullshit, you know, and, and the, the naive people who don't want to know the facts fall for all the copaganda bullshit. But every week I keep reporting about the copaganda stories and, uh, you know, I take a little heat for it, but I don't care because I know in my heart I'm telling the truth. I'm reporting the truth and I'm not covering up for these sons of bitches, these bad cops out there that make life miserable for the good cops and make life miserable for everybody else. And speaking of bad cops, we got the most recent one there with Police State New Jersey down at Tons River Police, where you got this dopey Frank Muschella. It's going to, uh, you know, demand ID and threatening arrest him for obstruction. And, he, and this, this knucklehead can't even articulate the crime. Through his own admission, there, there is no wrongdoing here. And then when Police State challenge him, well, what crime is it? 
You just see it's all bullshit. So we'll see what happens to this Frank Muschel. He needs to be fired, in my opinion. And the, and the cops are standing around there enabling all. They should be uh, suspended. But they won't. It's all bullshit. Everything about police departments and our government here in New Jersey, it's all bullshit. And you can't trust any of them, you know. And, and it's the unfortunate thing that there are good police out there and they're caught up in this. And they know it. And the good police are the ones that are shaking their heads and say, yeah, you know what, Gunnison, I agree with you. And the, and the ones that get on my Facebook page and say, I'm no good, I'm a mutt and all that, those are the bad cops. They are definitely the bad cops. Because they don't want the truth to be known. They don't want exposure. They don't want any light being shed on anything they do because it doesn't fall into the copaganda narrative. Okay, I will uh, put this story in the, in the uh, description and you can read it for yourself and uh, make your own determination. Let me know what you think about the, the bullshit here in New Jersey. The blue line of bullshit. That's really, I think, the name of the story ought to be. The blue line of bullshit. And... Uh, you know, we're peeling the layers away. One Little by little, we're peeling the layers away of that, that rotten blue onion. This is Gunnison Undercover. Till next time, people.